SMS text messaging is back for APRS. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Many of you probably already know about the SMS GTE service getting shut down. Not sure exactly what was going on with that, but that service was shut down. Thankfully, a new service has come to replace it. A huge shout out to Michael Phelps, November Alpha 7 Quebec, for bringing us this new service. This is one of the things that I have really missed when it came to APRS. And that was the ability to send a message from my radio and have it show up on someone's telephone as a text message. And then for them to be able to reply to me from their phone and that message be delivered back to my radio. Now, currently, this service is only available in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. Hopefully, we're going to see this coming to more countries soon. And if you'd like, guys, he does run a Patreon page to help support this service that he's providing. Now, this is a little bit different than the previous SMS GTE service in the fact that you need to opt in before sending messages. So if it's someone you want to send a text message to, you do need to opt in that number or have them opt in that number through this web page. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a pain, but I understand why he's doing this. There's also an opt out section down below that if someone wants to completely opt out of this particular service. Now, this website is aprs.wiki forward slash SMS. I'll leave a link to it here across the screen and down in the description below. From this page, you can also click right here to get a how-to guide on how to use this new SMS service before we sent the messages to SMS GTE. Now it's even shorter. We simply send a message to SMS from our APRS enabled radio. And I will be showing you guys an example of this working here in just a minute. But let's take a look right here. Let's see if I can make that text just a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. You're simply going to address the message to SMS and then you're going to put the at symbol, the telephone number you wish to send it to, and then the message that you want delivered. Right here, you'll see exactly the way that message would look when it's received on the telephone as a text message. Then if someone replied to you, it would come right back in to your APRS radio. Now, one of the other things that he has just recently gotten working, and I do want to go over this, is a way to create an alias. Aliases are good to create because A, it shortens uh, the message that you have to send out, and it can also protect your privacy a little bit by not exposing your telephone number or the telephone number of the party you are sending the message to every single time those messages are sent. And here's what I mean by that. I'm on APRS.fi, and I just did a quick message search for messages coming into and out of the system from SMS. And if you look, we can see phone numbers exposed right here. And that's what I really like to try to prevent. So I would definitely recommend that you get into the habit of using aliases, at least for people you're going to text back and forth all the time. Adding a new alias is super simple. You simply address the message to SMS from your radio, you're going to put this pound alias as the first word. The second word needs to be pound add. Then you're going to give the alias a name. In the case here that you're seeing on the screen, it's Bobby. And then you're going to put the telephone number for this particular alias. Now, next time when you go to send a message to this particular phone number, instead of putting at and the telephone number, you can simply put at Bobby. So for this demo today, I'll be using APRSD web chat on the laptop. Just makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see messages being sent and received. If you'll notice right here, I've got this message addressed to SMS. Now, here's the shortcut or the alias that I was telling you about. I'm going to type at me and then let's do test message for video. And let's go ahead and send that. 
and see if that doesn't get delivered right to my cell phone. If we take a look at my phone, you can see the message got delivered right there. Now, let's go ahead and reply to that message and see it return on the APRS system. And we can see that message returned right here on the screen. Man, am I glad to see this service back up and running. A huge shout out to Michael Phelps, November Alpha 7 Quebec. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a big thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.